The gentlewoman from Oregon, Ms. Bonamici, is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. What an exciting uh, topic, and uh, thank you so much for holding this hearing today so we can learn more about this, this very exciting research. And I wanted to align myself with the comments of Mr. Tonko and others uh, about the value of taking risks and the value of this sort of persistence and perseverance over the years and sometimes decades. Uh, I want to take just a moment to acknowledge my alma mater, the University of Oregon, for their efforts in this discovery. The university was one of the founding groups of the LIGO, LIGO Scientific Collaboration. And I know that the university scientist, Dr. Robert Schofield, participated in testing the detectors at the site in Livingston, Louisiana on the day that the gravitational wave was recorded and almost simultaneously. Uh, the uh, LIGO's partner site in Hanford, Washington, where a University of Oregon graduate students were, were stationed, registered the wave. Uh, University of Oregon is responsible in part for the environmental monitoring and, in, and really investigating that the wave was in fact a gravitational wave. When anything happens in the Northwest, we think it's an earthquake, right? So they, they, they in fact confirmed that this was a gravitational wave and I know uh, Professor Fry as well, Raymond Fry, who leads the university's physics department and their team on the LIGO project that includes five PhD students, a postdoc, and three faculty members. So I'm uh, proud of the University of Oregon. I know that their report really helped the scientists uh, with their confirmation. Uh, one, of the, one of the problems with being one of the last members to ask a question is that a lot of the topics have already been touched on. I was actually in an education hearing with the acting education secretary, so uh, I, I wanted to ask to, if you could follow up a little bit. I know the question was asked about uh, how we can get materials to teachers in classrooms. But I also was wondering if a researcher who's unaffiliated with the LIGO uh, collaboration has access to the data. Yes. Uh, we have, um, we, in, in LIGO.org, uh, you can find the actual data, one hour of data before and after the detection, and people have already downloaded and, and analyzing it. We are uh, going to, we have made uh, the data from initial LIGO runs. Uh, they are also available, and people have been looking at that. And we will make the the four months of data that we have taken um, available to the public in the future. So we are very committed to open uh, access and the public access to the data. Terrific, and I really appreciate all the comments that I've heard uh, all of you make about uh, the importance of engaging, especially students, and the internship op opportunities, and how do we help students follow their passion. I know um, Mr. Loudermilk was talking about the app challenge. My office did that as well. I had a Adam Barton from Sunset High School win the app challenge. He also happens to be a very talented pianist, which is confirming my my theory that integrating the arts into STEM results in more creative, uh, innovative people. Uh, do any of you have any sort of new uh, approaches to bringing you know, first generation students, for example, and students from underrepresented groups into the STEM fields? Yes, uh, we are very committed into increasing the diversity, not just in our collaboration, but in general in the scientific community. We have been working very closely with the National Society of Hispanic Physicists and Black Physicists for including, um, uh, for affiliating uh, students uh, and teachers from, uh, from um, uh, colleges with large, large underrepresented minorities. We work with several several of those universities, like Southern University, University Terrific. of Fullerton, uh, University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Thank you for that work. It's and, important and to get them interested and also to re retain them by having positions and having good working environments. And then finally, I, I know it's been touched on this morning, but could you expand a little bit uh, on the importance of international collaboration? I know that there was a, a lot going into this, but you know, we also talk about this when we talk about you know space research. Uh, and, you know, we have jurisdiction over NASA, for example. Uh, can you talk about that, uh, the importance of the international collaboration with LIGO in this discovery? Yes, we are very proud of having had a very international effort on this. It's been led by the U.S. Uh, the U.S. has been a leader in this effort, both uh, within the scientific, um, the LIGO scientific collaboration, which is an international collaboration. We have been leading this in the U.S., but also leading, um, uh, uniting all the other collaborations, getting agreements with all the other collaborations so that we don't compete with each other, but we collaborate for better science. We collaborate in forming a network. 
And that has been very important and very efficient too, because we have recruited uh, many students and scientists from other countries to help us here in the US. For example, it's a great model for collaboration. And my see, my time has expired. I yield back. Thank you again, yeah. Mr. Chairman. Yeah, thank you, Ms. Bonamici. Uh, that was very deftly um, done to include the University of Oregon to the extent that you did. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, totally understandable. Uh, thank you all for being here today. This was really a special and even unusual. Uh, hearing just because there was so much to learn and so much excitement about a new discovery. It's also nice, I think, from our point of view, just to see how much mutual support there is among you all, how much collaboration, even com camaraderie, perhaps. Uh, so appreciate that. We had a full house when we began today. Uh, they've trickled out over time, uh, but it was nice to start off with every seat in the, in the room occupied and a tribute to what you all have done. So thank you all very much.